So welcome then to the ninth and penultimate round of the World Trials Championship from Nepomuk in the Czech Republic. Championship leader Dougie Lamkin, there he is, the number two from Great Britain, needs just a handful of points here to clinch the 1997 World Championship. He's led all the way through. But the main surprise from the first day, a very bad result for the Japanese rider Kuriyama, the number four beta. He has impressed throughout the 1997 series on occasions very good, but he does have momentary lapses of reason, and this was one of them. Struggling on the first day. He's fighting for third in the championship with Fujinami, finishing day one in 11th place. Fifth on day one, the Finn Tommy Avala. Here he is, the number eight Montesa, with 27 points, 17 in the morning and 10 in the afternoon. That's his be second best uh, result of 97. Fourth place for Bruno Camotti, the Frenchman. 27 points for him as well. Third place for Takahashi Fujinami, the number seven Honda on the day. 26 points, his fourth podium of 1997. Helping him open up a 10 point gap to his rival countryman, Kuriyama. And only three points away now from third overall in the series. Dougie Lamkin knows he doesn't have to win it outright. Second place is good for the number two beta rider. It's only the fourth time in 16 starts this year that he has failed to win the day. 22 points the score for him. Nervous, but close to the title. Let's see how he feels. I'm quite happy with second place today because I started very bad and uh, I chose number one at the starting order and rode at the front without looking at the other riders. Uh, I take two very bad fives today and only finished on 22 points so the trial was a little easy maybe but I don't know, tomorrow I uh, will try and fight very hard and try not to be too nervous like today because for sure uh, it was a problem for me today, very nervous. So the winner on the day, Spaniard Mark Colomé, the number one Montesa, this is his second victory of 1997. He has really had to give best to Lamkin throughout the season. But Colomé coming back stronger after the summer break, seemingly. The best performer on both rounds here. 14 points his total for the day. But even if he wins day two, fifth will be enough to give Lamkin the title. I'm very happy with the result because I'm working very hard during the summer time and I think for the next year I can begin better than this year. So Colome Lamkin and the Japanese rider in third place. On day two, Fujinami gave away some of the points that he'd spent so much time on day one, eking out on Kuriyama. So after the third place on Saturday, seventh place on Sunday with 27 points, didn't help his championship challenge at all. Seven-time world champion Jordi Taros of Spain, the number three, finished ninth on day one and could only manage sixth on day two. Similarly, both the top Spaniards really a little out of sorts this season. And more and more often we hear rumours that he will retire at the end of the year. Fourth on day one, Bruno Camelzi takes fifth on day two. Great first round, saw him with only eight points, the third best result on the first round, but plummeted down the order with an afternoon total of 25. Still Komotsi's best result of the season, and that tells you something about his on and off form during the year. Fourth also with a 25 point score is the Japanese Kuriyama. A much better round two than his round one result. And he benefited from Fujinami's bad result on day two to conserve his championship third place. 
He only has a seven point lead though going into the final Grand Prix of the year and the battle for third is definitely joined between the two Japanese riders. Third place for Finland's Tommy Avala, his best result of 1997. He scored the best round in round two with only six points. He finishes day two with a total of 20. Montesa rider picks up one position in the championship, moving from ninth to eighth, and just one point from seventh. So a good spurt at the end of the season from him. Dougie Lampkin as on day one, his second place, total of 17 points, and clearly a youngster still feeling the nerves, knowing that the title is up for grabs. He took one more point than Colum A in each round, and that was enough to clinch the championship in 1997, 22 years after his father won the World Trial crown. Dougie Lampkin is the champion. He's put an enormous amount of effort into winning the championship and today it's come good for him. Uh, I feel a little elated because I also won the championship in Czechoslovakia and so for us both to win in the same place is a little added extra. So history repeating itself. <laughs> uh, obviously today is fantastic for me and all of my family. Many of my family arrived from, from England to see this. Uh, my father was world champion in 75, so today is a, a very happy day for my family. And uh, I don't know what to say, but for all my life I dream of one thing, to become world champion. And today I become world champion and the feeling is fantastic. I think what you were looking at there was a family in the early stages of a major hangover. Mark Colomay had a great time on day two, but not enough to keep the championship alive, taking his second victory in a row, his third of 1997. But everything has already been lost for Colomay for 97. With one Grand Prix still to go, he must concentrate all his efforts, surely, on rebuilding his form for the 1998 season. I'm happy with the result because now it's the end of the World Championship and it's important for things to, to next year. And also I'm happy because now I, I think I'm driving better than the last race. Pressure off him perhaps, we'll see how he performs in the final round of the Championship at Talheim in Germany and of course we'll be bringing you that in Eurosport but today we celebrate and salute a new champion Doug Lampkin 22 years after father Martin won the title and I'm sure the youngster and his family couldn't be more happy all the best to you guys